actually looks like it even still has a round in it. It does, right there. Yeah. And it was actually cocked back. All right, guys, so the gear I'm gonna be using today, I'm gonna be using the Hog BCD, which is a really nice one. Uh, this is Hog, highly optimized gear. Um, it's very, very good company. They have awesome products, highly recommend it. Um, also got my BCD here from Hog as well. And I'm gonna be using my flippers and also all of my other gear. And I also have a dive knife on me just in case I get tangled up in some line on the way there too. What's up guys, welcome back to another video with Depths of History. My name is Britton and today we are gonna be scuba diving in the river behind me and search for some river treasure. I wanna thank Dive Supply, Tommy over there. He actually gave me the gear to use today and uh, go check them out. I'll leave a link in the description below. But guys, today we're gonna be diving this bridge behind me. It's a really historic site. I'm really excited to see what we can find, but I'm gonna go hop in the water and let's see what treasures we can find actually, today. I actually do not have a head cam, so I'm actually gonna to have to be holding the camera the whole time. So let's jump in the water and see what we can get. I cannot believe four. We just got four. We're gonna have to get out and show you guys these. This is absolutely insane. Oh my gosh. I mean, this 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 place absolutely incredible. All right, guys. So we just got out of the water, and guys, we just had the craziest 30 minutes ever. So guys, we were just over this way, over by this old bridge overlook, and guys, this is absolutely insane. And there's actually a fifth one that was just found. This is absolutely insane. So, we just got a uh, 22 right there. Really nice one. Lever action. Another 22, I believe, and a shotgun. So, that's crazy, guys. I mean, four guns on the river. 
I'm really excited again about these finds. I mean, it's not often that you find even one gun in the river, let alone four. So we're going to get back in there, do some more scuba diving, and we'll let you know what we find. I know this angle of the camera is a little different than usual because usually I have it on top of my mask, but um, I hope you guys enjoy this different type of footage. So without further ado, let's jump back in the water and see what we can find. We're with the guns that we just found. I'm about to switch tanks and go back in the river. But guys, this... I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. I found a couple other things, including some, uh, like, old spoons and pocket knives and stuff. I've got that, though, in another section of the river. I put it on the bank. But take a look at this, guys. Lever action rifle. Lever action rifle. 22 wheel gun. Wow. Bolt action 22. Some auto 12 gauge. It's crazy. And these have been, these have been down there for a while, too. Yeah. You see all the rust and corrosion on them. <laughs> also got some nice illegal. pieces. This is the top of a powder flask. Also got a pocket knife and a bunch of keys. Jeremy got all these keys. Absolutely crazy. There's a lot of different varieties in there. gosh a sawed off shotgun that thing is amazing holy cow that thing is crazy oh let's keep going No way! Oh, 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 oh. 
up getting a nice 38 pistol really nice one it's actually loaded you can see on the back where it's cocked back that was an insane find and that was actually underneath this mirror that I found which is pretty insane also got one barrel of another pistol um, it also has an extended mag as well which is pretty insane <laughs> tons of guns today Hi there, um, my name is Britton Lockhart and I'm a YouTuber and I also do scuba diving as a hobby and recently I went scuba diving today. I found a pistol and I wanted to see if there was anything I need to do with it or if, if I need to turn it into you guys or really what I need to do. Okay, give me one second, I'm gonna have an officer come out and talk to you, okay? Thank you. Okay, 
So this is the gun that I'm going to be showing to them. Um, on the other side are the serial numbers. I don't want to give those out, but just to look at the gun, it's pretty crazy. So hopefully they'll do whatever they need to do and get this taken care of. I just wanted to see because um, it's clearly rusted. Um, yeah, so it's... I mean, it's... I mean pretty rusted up but I still you know I didn't want to do the right thing I didn't yeah no man you're fine uh, um I mean Jesus I do right I mean that, that right it has yeah it has like, been I mean, down the, there for a while yeah the, the barrels even like <laughs> it's, it's gone caked. so right but I mean with the thing it's it's caked up as it is they're not going to be able to get any ballistics or anything like that more okay. than likely gotcha. um, however they might still be a way to like dig all that out okay. um it actually looks like it even still has a round in it it does right there yeah and it was actually cocked back yeah so uh which is pretty crazy because it was like it so, was it's kind of <laughs> like live I'm like, um, <laughs> yeah uh, i would um, definitely like no matter how you store that like point it away from <laughs> yeah definitely for sure um they might have something like a cold case or something that might be solved from it okay um yeah i mean right now i don't even think we can take it to be okay all right. Well, I appreciate it. Sorry that. about that, Thank man. Thank you. Yes, sir. Hey, not a problem. I appreciate it. Thank you for your help. Hey, not a problem. <laughs> All right, guys, so as you saw from the video, obviously the serial numbers are actually really worn off. Um, he said, honestly, if they took it, uh, they would likely destroy it. So at least, you know, I checked in with them and made sure what I was doing was right. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a big thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, I would really appreciate it if you did, but hopefully, and also the other guns that we found, they were caked with rust. So there's really nothing that we can do there. There weren't any serial numbers we could find or anything. At least I was able to check with him about the one that did have numbers on it and we clarified some things but all in all definitely an incredible find i'm really shocked about it hopefully it was not used in a murder case but it potentially could have been but hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please leave a big thumbs up and subscribe and help me reach my goal of 100,000 subscribers and if you'd like to check out the other channels that i went with today there's a link in the description below thank you so much and we'll see you next time